Delta 1453 Zulu, wind 0, 4, 0, 1, 0, gust 1, 9, air visibility 1, 0, 5,500 scattered. Temperature 272.15, altimeter 3007. RLS or localizer runway 9 approach to use, land departure runway 9 and runway 1, 3. Notice Ammon Bird advisor is in effect. Taxiway Quebec on the impediment of taxiway is off and echo. I'll let hold short sign north of runway 9 or 27 at taxiway November. Crane point 3 nautical miles north approaching runway 1385 feet AGL. Auto party fixing aircraft contact clearance delivery 127.905 prior to taxi. All aircraft feedback, rolling seven holds on instructions. Vows on this contact, you have information. Delta. All right, we have Delta. Grand 3175 Whiskey, Executive Clearance, clear to St. Augustine Airport. Via Radar Vectors, Palm Beach, then is filed, maintain 2,000. Expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency, 119.7, squawk 3634. And 3175 Whiskey is clear to St. Augustine. Radar vectors Palm Beach as filed. 2000, expect 7010 minutes. 119.7 and 3634 in the box for 3175 Whiskey. Number 75 Whiskey, read back correct. Contact ground point 75. Good day. Go to ground 75 Whiskey. Good day. All right, 364. 634. Boom. Executive ground. Boom. All right, so we've been cleared. Uh, radar vectors Palm Beach as filed. So what I had filed for was to go um, FXE, Palm Beach, Victor 3, Omni, Victor 51, Aster, and then St. Augustine. So that's what we'll program into here. So I'll show you how I do that. So I go to FMS. And FXE already knows where our origin is. Uh, there's many ways to do this. I pr press the round knob on the right, press that in, and it shows me direct uh, FLL. Um, that is the closest, but I don't want to go FLL. I want to go PBI. So I hit P. It already knows BI is the closest. So I put in Palm Beach. I press the button again, and I tell it I want to go on an airway. So I scroll down. I find Victor 3. I select Victor 3. It says, OK, where do you want to get off this airway? So I say, okay, well, I want to get off Victor 3. And as you scroll through, it shows you just drawing the lines on there. And I want to get off at Omni. I scroll down, and it is in order till I find Omni. Select uh, Enter on Omni. And then I tell it, okay, well, what's next? Well, what's next is Victor 51. So then I choose Victor 51. Press Enter, and it says, okay, where do you want to get off? Victor 51. In my case, I want to get off at Aster. So then I get off at Aster, and then I want to choose another waypoint. And uh, the first thing it chooses is uh, St. Augustine VOR, which is correct. But I want to go directly to the airport, so I press K. It knows the nearest airport is St. Augustine, Sierra uh, Gulf, Juliet, and I select that. And then there is my route. It's loaded in, and I can see it full screen. And I can uh, view expanded, or I can just view uh, compact, and compact will show me exactly what I have. FXE, Palm Beach, Victor 3, Omni, Victor 51, Aster, and St. Augustine. And uh, just like that, that's how easy and simple it is to file a flight plan, or enter a flight plan, rather, inside the IFD uh, uh, series of GPS. 
Executive Ground Baron 3175 Whiskey at Sano, ready to taxi to 9 for IFR departure. Move from 3175 Whiskey at Executive Ground, runway 9 or taxi to Charlie Echo, hold short, runway 13. 9 via Charlie Echo, hold short of 13 for 3175 Whiskey. Number 3175 Whiskey, turn left heading 310, runway 9 or clear for takeoff, wind 040 at 15. Left 310, clear for takeoff, standby Whiskey. Medivac 89 or hotel, you number 1. All right, here we go. All right, we see the Cherokee 89 or Gage is in the green. Uh, executive Tower, 5644J holding short runway 9 or ready for takeoff. Okay, say again, you were Fuel flow, airspeed alive. 79 Piaggio you off your right. Number 2, runway 9 or clear to land, cost of wind 040 at 15. Okay, clear to land. Number Positive two, rate. Uh, runway 9, I'll uh, 779. Number 440, you're you up. Go. That's affirmative. Number 440, expedite departure, runway 9 clear for takeoff, turn left northwest Piaggio, 2 mile final. Clear for immediate takeoff. Roger, immediate takeoff, 56440. Number 37, Lima traffic, off to your left, Islander, joining a three mile right base, 900 to center, report site. Alright, Islander, that's right, that's a 663, Lima. Number 637, six, Lima, follow the traffic, runway 9 or clear to land, number 3. Alright, number 3, clear to land, that's a 663, Lima. Flight 257, uh, just off the bell, full stop, with no delta. On flight 257, executive tower to midfield, right down, runway 9. 1000 to go. Right down, runway 9, flight 257. November 75, Whiskey, contact, Miami departure. Over departure, 75, Whiskey. Signal 422, Miami, are you with me? Over 554, there's traffic, 12 o'clock and 5 miles to Navajo at 4000, maintain 2000 for now. We're speaking 2,000 for now, we're looking out for the traffic fire hassle. Number 90, Fox Air Fox, Air Contact, Port Out, Executive Tower, 120.9er. We're looking for Lateral Tower, 90, Fox Air Fox Air. And Miami Departure, Baron 3175, Whiskey's with you, leveling off 2,000. Number 3175, Whiskey, Miami Departure, Radar Contact, maintain 3,000. Up to 3,000, Set by Whiskey. Set by Whiskey, Contact Approach, 12605. 12605, Set by Whiskey. Number one, Mike off, and you're, just to verify you're proceeding to direct Denver to intercept the clouds. Altitude for now to uh, what, uh, until I'm clear of the clouds. I stepped on you, Aztec 422, maintain 2,500 for traffic. We'll maintain 2,500 for traffic, Aztec 422. Who else called and answered? This was November 9, 13 Charlie, just letting you know. I'll stay at this altitude until I clear the clouds. 13 Charlie, no problem, thanks. And departure Baron 317 by Whiskey's with you on a 2.7 for 3,000. 3175 Whiskey, Miami Departure, climate maintains 7,000. Up to 7,000, that's uh, up to Whiskey. Signal 422, traffic 12 o'clock, 4 miles, opposite direction 2,000, contact approach 119.7. 119.7, thank you, that's the word for the Whiskey, Miami Departure, Baron 75 Whiskey, contact Palm Beach Approach, 125.2. 125.2, 75 Whiskey. Bravo. 436, Charlie Bravo, Palm Beach Approach, Roger. And Palm Beach Approach, Baron 3175 Whiskey, with you level 7000. Baron 3175 Whiskey Palm Beach Approach. Roger. Fly heading 360, Joint Victor 3, resume navigation. 360 on heading, Joint Victor 3, uh, set by Whiskey.
November 75, whiskey contact approach 128.3. 128.3, is that my Good afternoon, Palm Beach Approach, Baron 3175 Whiskey is with you, level 7000 on a 010 heading for Victor 3. Baron 3175 Whiskey, Palm Beach Approach, Roger. Baron 3175 Whiskey, contact Miami Center 132.25. 3225, I sent my whiskey. November 8, 7 Whiskey Delta, I'm going to maintain 1, 0, 10,000. 10, 10,000. Good afternoon, Miami Center, Baron 3175 Whiskey's with you, level 7,000, intercept Victor 3. 3175 Whiskey, my exit number will be 12, 702, 012. 012, 7 Whiskey. Welcome aboard. We are currently cruising 7,000 feet. We are on a 010 heading. To intercept Victor 3 to, you guessed it, St. Augustine. This is my last flight to St. Augustine for the year. Uh, the calendar year, that is. At least as of now. Um, or at least as my final destination, I should say. So, um, Thank you for joining me, welcome aboard. I decided today that I was going to hand fly this entire flight without the use of the autopilot. And to be honest, um, the reason I'm doing that is just the other day, I went up and I was doing some instrument currency with a good friend of mine who owns a Baron as well. And he actually has a beautiful Baron B55, nice G500 screen. He went with the Garmin route instead of the Aberdyne. Um, I'll forgive him for that. But he's got an amazing airplane with an amazing setup. So what I had noticed flying his airplane, um, some of it was due to the fact that I wasn't used to doing the, the screen. But I noticed that I've become probably a little too dependent and reliant on my autopilot for maintaining altitude. Um, you know, properly trimming the airplane, etc. And I didn't like how that I wasn't as efficient as I thought I should be. So I did a little self-evaluation, something that um, we all should do, and and um, be okay with it. And so, based on my self-evaluation, I wasn't happy with my performance. If I was grading myself, um, it wasn't up to the standards that I hold myself to. And hopefully, as pilots, those of us that are watching, uh, that are pilots, um, hold yourself to a standard higher than anyone could ever hold you to. Um, because it's our, in the end, it's our lives. And our family lives and our loved ones and, and what have you, that we fly with. So based on that, I was like, I need to, granted it wasn't my airplane, but um, still no excuse. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big believer of, uh, I don't want to hear excuses, I want solutions. So my solution was I'm going to correct that and I'm going to hand fly. And so that's what I'm doing. And it's good practice and I think I'm going to start um, based on my own evaluation um, doing it a lot more often. And maybe get a little more dependent on the autopilot for when I have to multitask or when I'm in a busy environment. So as you can see, we have a beautiful layer just below us. Um, we're currently at 7,000 feet, as I mentioned earlier. I'd say that layer is probably about 6,500. So we are just above it. This is exactly why um, those of you that are pilots that haven't gotten your instrument rating, this is exactly why you want it. Because the weather is absolutely beautiful. There's no reason not to be flying on a day like today. There's no reason not to be above the clouds on a day like today. One of the keys to flying a 
they properly program the airplane without uh, autopilot is to fly with two fingers literally just two fingers when you have the airplane trimmed right you should be able to hold the airplane with two fingers and if you need to turn you turn if you need to, to climb and with just two fingers you pull back very easily very gently and if you find that there's pressure on your pointer finger then that means you need a little nose up trim you come down and you just barely touch it i prefer to do it manually versus electric for those tiny little minute changes Southwest and if you find that you uh, have pressure on your thumb, so it's 2672 landed departure radar contact, climb and maintain 16000. Then obviously the reverse is true. Then you need to press down. And now keep in mind that, that when you're changing attitude, you gotta give the airplane a moment to settle down. So just now I had a little pressure, I wanted to climb up an extra 100 feet or two. So I had a little bit of pressure on my forefinger. I adjusted the trim, nose up just ever so slightly, so I can regain my altitude. Now I'm back, and I'm trying to hold level flight. So I'm trying to see where, what I need to do. Putting a little pressure with my thumb. So 2672, right at 7, vector crest of departure. And a 3-4-0, so just a bad bit of pressure on my pointer finger. And let's see where it settles. Go. So it's looking like probably wanting to climb more than descent, so I might have a Hair too much nose up trim. So what I'll do is I'll get it leveled off. Actually, I'm not doing anything. So 359 land at departure rate of contact. Climb and maintain 16,000. There we have it. On 16,000, And we're level off. Hands off line, level 7,000 feet. So that's the key. That's the, uh, the little trick to, to trimming the plane properly. Um, if you're new at flying and you're watching, uh, all of us did it. We would give that death grip. If you've got that death grip going, uh, then odds are you have pilot-induced climb and descent. That you're you're fighting the trim and you're fighting yourself. And uh, there's no need to do that. And you're never going to get the airplane trim that way. You're going to constantly fight it and not understand why you can't get a trim. Two fingers. Just relax. Just hold it. As soon as you see the altitude move, even 100 feet, just give it a little bit of pressure. Don't push on it. Just give it a little bit of pressure. South 359, Cedric Guano, John McCoy, one departure on course. And. Get back to that number. In Orlando, uh, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, 501 Charlie Pop with you Hello. at uh, 5000. November 51, or 501 Charlie Pop, land first, comma, maintain 14. Hope this helps. Hope you find it uh, useful. 4000. And uh, I'll check back in with you on uh, descent. For one Charlie Pop, flight 23. Channel Center for information, Echo 16500 observation. Wind estimated 040 at 15, visibility 10. And we have Echo. So they're estimating the winds, if you heard that, 04015. They're estimating it because Hurricane Matthew as you can hear, took everything out. They have no VOR, they have no ILS, they have no ASOS. Um, 
So they must have some sort of uh, little portable wind meter or something they have up that they're estimating what the winds are and they have an altimeter. So, uh, it, it is VFR, it's 2,000 scattered. So that's a non-issue. But if we had to fly an approach in there, the expected runway is 3-1. So we do have the option of flying uh, the RNAV thanks to the uh, GPS. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the RNAV loaded up for 3-1 as of now, just in case. Give me a chance to uh, look at it, review it. We won't fly the way it shows on the screen. Um, we will end up getting radar vectors even if we did fly it, they would turn us. We wouldn't go to Aster, but this is what I see, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and uh, and load the R nav into the GPS. Figure I'd let you uh, see that as well. We're going to be doing 15 mile legs just north of Daytona, working west, Cap 843. Procedure button. Uh, yeah, Cap 843. Like to select R nav. Three one. Way uh, to the west with north south. Answer. Cap 843. Right. I'll choose Omni as my initial approach fix as I'm crossing over Omni, Omni to uh, come here. Go ahead for his enter. Daytona, Cap 832. Say request. And now my approach has been added. And Cap I can scroll back Daytona. and look. Start 3175, let's get to center, maintain 5000, traffic 12 o'clock, 6 miles northbound, King Air at 4500. Leaving seven for uh, five thousand for survival speed. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead down. Bring the power back. Three to twenty-one. And that will begin our initial uh, ascent. For 3175 Whiskey, turn left, heading 330, vector for lower. Left 330, set by Whiskey. I was going to maintain 4,000. Down to 4,000, said I was. Five for five for four thousand. Thousand to go. Three 
3175, Whiskey Clear, direct St. Augustine. Direct St. Augustine, 75 Whiskey. Level 3000. Epic Air 551, Daytona 1st, maintain 4000. Leave 3000 for 4000, Epic Air 551. Good to send a maintain 3000. Leaving four for 3000. Donna.com, 12,000 for 8000. Whoops. Dotcom, 6112, based on our first day. Don't send me to your I am sick. 8000. Dotcom, 6112. 1000 to go. That's the beauty of having an instrument rating right there. Those prior pilots that don't have it, I can't emphasize enough how useful it is, how much it'll, a better pilot will make you, and how it can save your life one day. Dark on 6112, maintain 111. And let's not forget how much fun it can be. Jacksonville Center 126.35. 75 Wiki Connect Jacksonville approach 120.75. 120.75, 75 Wiki. Good afternoon, Jack Scorch Baron 3175 Wiki is with you, leveling off 3000 with Echo. Pick up 4749 Jack's departure radar contact. I maintain 15000. Proceed direct doggy. 3175 Whiskey Jack Approach. Stay on scene altimeter 3021. Device information echo. Expect RNAV runway 31 approach. And I have echo for uh, 75 Whiskey and expect your RNAV. November 3175 Whiskey Clear Simple Approach. Runway 31. Your radar services are terminated but remain on your beacon code, please. Contact tower 127.62. Clear the visual over the tower, 75 Whiskey. Hey, and go up there and send on the tower, Baron 3175 Whiskey. Whiskey is with you inbound for the visual. 75 Whiskey, send on the tower, left base runway 31, report 3 mile final, or you can have right base runway 6, winds estimated 050 at 20. 050 at 20. You said it's 050 at 20? That's correct. How long is, uh, is 5? Runway 6 at 2701. Tower 75 Whiskey, I think I'll just take 3-1. Yeah. 
if I was ready. Alright, we'll start slowing up. Whiskey runway 31, clear to land. Clear land, 31, set that whiskey. Alright, gear down, three green, one in mirror. And we are clear to land. Uniform, midfield, right, downward, runway 3-1. 6 number 2 behind a Baron on a mile and a half final from the left base. Support Baron in sight. Looking for traffic, Cherokee 556, Uniform. 20 knots. Uniform on the thing of traffic in sight, number two, clear touch and go. Traffic, 12 o'clock, two miles, 200 feet above. Definitely as reported. And there you have it. I'm set by Whiskey State Parking. I had Atlantic set by Whiskey. Left turn Bravo 2, hold short Bravo, contact ground. Hold short of Bravo, to ground set by Whiskey. We're set by Whiskey, St. Augustine ground, straight ahead, Bravo 2, taxi to the ramp. Straight ahead to the ramp, set by Whiskey. 